So welcome back guys, my name is Wes and welcome back to a very, very soggy day. It has been raining pretty much solid for the last two or three days and I think that we have gotten two or three, no three or four rather, inches of rain which is which is good because it was super, super dry so I'm not going to complain about getting some water around here and it's actually drizzling right now so we've got something we need to fish out of this trash pile back here and let's do go ahead and do that so we can get out of this rain. Get this limb out of the so that y'all can see this a little bit better. This is a uh, kind of a by popular demand video on the last one. Well, I think it was two videos ago when we cut down several trees and made, I think we made two by fours in that video. This log right here was a waste log. It was a, it was a chunk of wood that had a cat eye down towards the lower portion of the tree. And in the video, I said it kind of ruins the whole log having that cat eye on it because it's this very dense area of pine sap where there may have been an injury or some kind of a genetic defect that the tree healed itself from. And it's not a structurally sound spot. And I had a lot of people say, man, there's some good fatwood, there's some good kindling in there. Open it up, see what's going on. Might be some a cool table or something like that on the inside of that log. So we're gonna fish it out of this pile and really see what's in it because I've never actually sawed or slabbed a whole cat eye like this before. If you notice the camera shaking it's because there's a cat scratching itself on the bottom of the tripod there uh, this log is kind of on the shorter side it's gonna be let's see here 82 inches long so just shy of seven feet long and there goes the tripod shaking again and about 14 inches wide a little bit shy of 14 inches wide down here you might be wondering why i dumped the log out in the middle of the yard and then ran the tractor around and picked it back up in another direction i needed to rotate the log in the grapple so that when i put it on the mill the small end of the log would be facing up towards the the sawing part, part the head of the mill uh, it just makes things a lot easier and smoother if the small portion of the log is towards the head of the mill. Now there's one more thing that we've got to figure out before we start sawing into this log and that's how to position this cat eye. This is the cat eye right here and it goes really from right here at the bottom to uh, about right here or so. There may be a foot and a half or so of the log that's kind of a clear pine log but we need to figure out exactly how to position this and the reason for that is if I turn it so that the cat eye is up I'm afraid what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna saw the cat eye out and we're not gonna really have anything that's particularly unique except on maybe the first couple of cuts on the other hand if I flip it so that the cat eye is kind of facing out or at a 90 degree angle to while well, I'm backwards at a 90 degree angle to the uh, to the bed of the mill here that way I'm gonna get some of this cat eye in every single slab so I've thought about this a lot and I think that's the direction that I'm gonna go we're gonna turn it kind of this direction and uh, clamp it down and see if we can get some cat eye in every single cut here um, I don't know if that's the best approach let me know what would you have done um, let's give it a try Cheeto you're the same color as that board you're on did you know that did you know that wacky cat Make sure I get it as straight as I possibly can here. I mentioned earlier that I also had some people that asked if this would make really good kindling or fat wood or whatever you want to call it. Well, let's dig into it and see. Now I didn't want to take too big of a chunk out of that because I'm trying to slab it and have it kind of intact. But uh, this is kind of what I pulled out of that right there if it'll focus. There it goes. 
Uh, that's just a very small piece, kind of the kind of the outer, uh, almost the bark, I suppose. But it does smell very pitchy, kind of like pine tar. Let's see what it does. All right, so the outside doesn't really make that good a kindling, but I guarantee you the inside has got good stuff in it. Let's open it up and we'll see what's going on in there. I think I'm starting to have a change of heart about which direction to saw this in. And the reason for that is if you look real close, you can see right here, this is almost like a crotch section of the log right here. And this little split goes all the way down to right here. And I just feel like there's something really spectacular right in here. And if I try to saw it from this direction, I'm probably going to get maybe five mediocre pieces. But if I saw it from this direction, I feel like I'm going to get maybe two spectacular pieces. And I'd rather have two really good pieces than five kind of half halfway pieces, I guess you could say. So I'm going to flip it and go a different route with that. I also want to put a shim up under this end just to make the whole thing a little more even, if I can. There we go. taking some pretty cautious cuts on this because I've got one shot and that's all. I don't want to mess it up. Check this out. Is this a sign of good things to come? Looks a lot like fire right here. Maybe this is the log with fire on the inside. At this point I'm pretty happy about how flat I've gotten it on the top so I'm going to flip this all the way over and start getting slabs off of the other side and that eventually will get down to this part right here and open it up and see what it looks like. It's looking good so far. poor chicken is still struggling out there. 
here's the moment of truth guys let's uh get into this log and see what it's see what it's looking like i wouldn't expect to have a whole lot on this first one here but we've definitely got the beginnings on this next one see that that's the beginnings of that pitchy area of pine sap right there that heartwood i guess you could call it starting to get excited this is looking really promising not quite as impressive as i was hoping we do have some spots right in here i guess the next one is going to be the main one at least i hope i hope this wasn't a waste of time all right guys this should be the main one oh yeah that's better I was getting worried. I'm starting to feel vindicated here. Check that out, more fire. Well guys, I'll have to say that I'm very, very pleased with how that turned out and I'm very glad that I attempted to get two really cool looking slabs out of that instead of like five or so kind of halfway slabs. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with my decision on how I cut that. I think these turned out great. That one with the larger hole in the middle, I feel like that would just look incredible as like a small table maybe with metal legs or something like that with a blue epoxy filling in that hole. Um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down there. What would y'all do with these slabs right here? Of course, there's nothing I can do right now. They have to be dried, but man, that was great. And thank y'all for the popular demand, making me drag that thing out of the trash pile and do something with it. Cause there was, there really was a treasure hidden in that log and quite a bit of fire too. Apparently I love that pattern or that figure that this looks like fire in the log. I've never quite seen it that way. Um, but yeah, cool. Um, very, very happy with that. <laughs> thank y'all for watching a little bit of a shorter one today. I think I haven't edited, edited it yet, of course, but we'll see, but, um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Well guys, I almost forgot to check on the kindling on this, on the inside of this log here. Let's, uh, hack this up a little bit and see how good of a fire starter it would make. That little piece that I just chopped off there looks like a really nice piece of sapwood, what I would call fat lighter. Some people call it fat wood or fat lighter. I think it kind of depends on where you are and what you call it, but I would expect this to burn just perfectly fine. Yep, that would make excellent, excellent kindling. And this is actually what we use for kindling in the wintertime in the fireplace. I'll go out into the woods. In fact, I've made a video about this before, going out into the woods and finding lightered stumps, which are just old heart pine stumps of trees that have been cut down eons ago. And I'll get those out of the ground and uh, they make excellent, excellent fire starters. It helps to make them just a little bit smaller. This is our piece of the, uh, the wood from the slabs we just got. And this is a piece of wood that came from a heart pine stump. So this would be true fat lighted or heart pine or whatever you want to call it. Let's see what the difference is. Hmm. 
I think the wood from our slab here is a little bit stickier than uh, than this uh, just standard heart pine stump here. Yet they both make really good firewood, or fire starter rather. That's going to do it. I'm done being a firebug for the day. I'll see y'all on the next one.